The Story of Josanna by Eric Hua. Chapter 10 The Cavern Later that day, Josanna gathered her weapons and left Clarion without others noticing. She found the caverns that Jezebel mentioned that wasn't too far away from the city. She recalled that Jezebel said that this path would avoid the war path that was happening within the forest between the two cities and would be a relatively easier travel. However, Josanna doubted the words of the wicked woman when she saw a sign near the entrance of the cave with the words, Beware, painted in red with part of the sign slashed off. She looked around for a branch that she could use as a torch. Once she acquired it she entered into the caverns all by herself. Inside the cave was everything one expected it to be. It was difficult to see without a light source and if you made a sound, it would echo down for miles. As Josanna wandered the caves, she dropped a stone after a few meters as markers to track where she had been. Her journey inside the cave had been relatively uneventful but that was about to change. Not too far from where she was about to walk, she heard the sound of a creature breathing heavily. She unsheathed her short sword and waited cautiously in her spot. Emerging from the shadow ahead was a large bear gritting its teeth. Josanna could tell from its body language that she was not welcome but she wasn't going to back away from her mission. The two stood at a distance, waiting for the other to make the first move. The bear charged first, while Josanna continued to wait before rolling away. Doubling back, the bear raised its paw in an attempt to swipe at Josanna. She managed to duck under the first attempt and jump back on the second swing. Then the third slash came and Josanna just barely escaped as part of her cloth armor received a tear from its claw. Realizing she couldn't win with brute force, she swapped out her weapon and pulled out her bow. Under the confined space, there wouldn't be much need to aim her arrows. The problem was that there was limited space for Josanna to get around. It would be tricky to get out of range against her foe. The bear sensed what Josanna was planning and continued to pressure her. Not only did it have speed, but the creature would slam its paw with such force, it caused debris to scatter which bothered Josanna enough so she couldn't fire her arrows. If this kept going, Josanna would be in trouble so she had to come up with something quick before she tired out. Again the bear gathered speed and went after Josanna, who instead of dodging to the side, turned around and ran away. It was gaining ground on her as she was running towards a rocky wall with nowhere else to go. The bear thought it finally had Josanna trapped, so it lunged forward in hopes to pounce on its enemy. However, as Josanna approached the dead end, she ran up the wall and did a backflip over the charging animal. Josanna was able to break herself from being trapped and not only that, the bear that charged her couldn't stop its momentum and slammed right into the wall. Now the tables had turned, the bear was struggling to recover after the collision while Josanna had her bow and arrow pointed right at the defenseless animal. She held her aim tightly but before she could release the shot, she heard something approaching the bear that was lying on the ground. An injured cub slowly limped towards the bear that was struggling to get up. Josanna lowered her weapon as she saw the cub struggling to walk on three legs. She was able to piece it all together, the bear she was fighting was a mother, and she was only trying to protect her child. She walked towards the small family but the mama bear looked up and began to growl. Josanna held her hands up and her palms open to signal that she meant no harm. Your child needs attention, please let me help him. Seeing her bow was put away along with the arrow back in her quiver, the protective bear let her guard down and allowed Josanna to approach them. She got a good look at the cub's injured leg and came to the conclusion that it was broken. It will heal but we are going to need to stabilize it or it will get worse. She explained to the bears. Looking around, there wasn't much she could use to help the little one, until an idea came up in her mind. Josanna pulled her bow and untied the string from it. She then snapped the bow into two equal stick lengths and placed each one beside the cub's injured leg. She then tied the bow string around the leg to hold the sticks in place and to provide support to allow the cub to walk with greater ease. There, all finished. It might be a bit weird at first, but this should help the healing process. The cub began to see a positive change in its movement which brought tremendous relief to the mother bear. She gave a kind gesture to Josanna to thank her for her kindness. In addition, 
the mama bear got up and showed Josanna how to reach the end of the cave. 